say congratulations. I saw Danny last week at the NTAs, the National Television Awards. Yep. Uh, and you won uh, for start of the show, EastEnders won, but also you won singly for uh, best um, performance as well. I, yeah, best series yeah. won. No, no, no. no, no, no. Yeah. Congratulations. Well deserved as well, I feel. No, it's, it's, it's a moment, you know what I mean? It was a bit scary walking up there, but I was yeah. like inside going, what a touch, never won nothing in my life. Hold it, hold it, you never won any awards before? Well, no, no, I've, I've won a couple of others this year, but one of them I cannot remember. I can't remember it. <laughs> the TV Choice Awards, I just... I would never advise anyone, if you're up for an award, to sit there sucking on tequila. No. Cos I woke up the next day and I looked across and I thought, I've won. <laughs> so I could see the award and I thought, that means I've accepted it and I don't remember nothing. Yeah. So you were now worried about what you might have said? Yeah, and I had a foul mouth rant, didn't I? But, um, uh, I, I don't think it was that bad. I thought I was all right. <laughs> Considering I was out of my well, nut, I was completely off my nuts. So, so uh, on the night of the NKs, did you get off your nuts? No, nah, I, I had a, a, a little swift Jack Daniels. That's I thought it. I'd be quite elegant with it, a bit of ice. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah very, very sophisticated. Very classy. You know, and then, uh, and, then, and then I just left it till after. And then, uh, And do I had a drink when you got home? Yeah, I got bang at it with my mother in law. <laughs> Well, that's what I call a Again, sophistication, just me and her <laughs> sitting there. And, uh, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's good, yeah. But congratulations. Thank I mean, you. Duncan aside, it's very well earned. Uh, because EastEnders is right at the top of its game again. Partly, I think, your input, but also the writing. I mean, are they writing specifically for you in a different way now? Are you having a stay in that? What's going on? Well, t uh, no, I, mean, I, I made the job hard for myself, really, because um, I thought when I come in it, I want to bring back a bit of the East End. So, uh, they're good writers there, but they're quite middle-class people. So I'm constantly changing the dialogue and I'm freaking their nuts out and they have all, they have all meet, they have meetings over the word boat race and, you know, I called someone a slice. Um, oh, it's not necessarily I'm... Cockney rhyming slang, it's slice, it just means you're not with a ticket. Right? I've never so, I go, heard... so, so I go, shut your mouth, you slice, and they'll go, oh, hold up, slice. Oh. So they do the headphones and that going, oh, 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 no, you can have slice, you can have slice. <laughs> it's fine. So do, they have, do the BBC have an expert on rhyming slang? Oh, or... they Google it. I say, well, let them Google it for people who don't know. They go, what about the Northern? I go, well, let them Google it. It means they're paying attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about the Northern? So so let I... them Google it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> no, I just think, like, I, you know, I just want to bring a bit of the East End back to it, so I yeah. think it's important. It is. But, uh, but then uh, now I've took on this whole thing about to rewrite the scripts. So, so it's more work for you? More work. But you live down east, don't you? I mean, you're not what we consider East End proper, but you're east of London, aren't you? I'm Latin now, yeah, yeah I'm Latin. Yeah. So, uh, so you still... I only meet... moved out four years ago for a council estate, though, to be fair. Yeah, cos there was a while when you were, you were doing fairly big movies, you were going to premieres and stuff, but then you were going back to a council I, flat. I, I can't remember, really... You know, we have been having a career before East End, I know, you, I know what you're going to say. I didn't really have a career. You're well, not going to say it. I wasn't going to say it, but I will now. You didn't really have a career before... <laughs> No, it's just completely engulfed me life. No, it's, 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 it's mad, man. It's just like... I think it's the character I play. Well, Mick, saying he's... Right, right, he, this geezer don't exist. He's like the perfect husband. He's got a massive schlong, right? <laughs> no, I haven't got a massive schlong. He's but, there. no, like, he, he's, like, he's, 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 been very, he's been very supportive. You know what, well, believe it or not, that wasn't on my questions. <laughs> But no, he's a really good character to play because yeah, he's, yeah. he's just like he's almost like the perfect man. It's a bit miserable though, EastEnders. Isn't well, it? that's the game we're in, isn't it? You know, it's like it is. It does. It it, it affects your nut. It does. Yeah. Ain't gonna lie. Does it wear you out that though? I mean, would you like to go and have a happier storyline? Because at the moment they're right in the middle of it, right again, aren't they? His family. I don't know if EastEnders does that. I, I mean, like we, you know, having that, you have a laugh now and again. Once every six months, you smile. <laughs> <laughs> The rest of it, just sob your eye out. <laughs> um, so, crying most of the year? Yeah, no, I'm sick of crying. That does fuck me up. And do you... <laughs> and do you... Uh... And for me, is I, go to, I, I go there. Uh, you know, I go to some dark places in me nuts. That's real tears. So, you go home and you're still half crying. The missus goes, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> well, I've had a hard day. What are you talking about that hard day? Yeah. Calm down. But, you know, it's... Uh, but it must be exhausting, cos you're now doing... It's on four days a week now. Never used to be in the old days, it was no, three no. days a week. Yeah, now, no, four days a week, that's pretty full on. No, it was tough for last year. I mean, I, I, th th they rinsed the life out of me, and um, I appreciate it. I do, but um, I was... <laughs> I mean, I, I, towards the end of it, I mean, I'd done 170-odd episodes, and um, I was so exhausted. I was spewing up, and I, I, and I ponied everywhere, right? Wow. <laughs> and, uh, and it was like a crime scene in the dressing room. <laughs> This... So I had to give the cleaner extra readies. I felt sorry for to go in that room. I went, here's a bullseye. I do apologise when you walk in that room. Here's a bullseye. Sorry about the pony. No, that yeah. get the doctors out and everything. 
Yeah. And so you were... It, you... I won't let him leave until the doctor came and said, no, he's exhausted, you've got to let him go home. I mean, I was smothered in shit. Yeah. Before yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 it had been, like, tell-tell time. Just get him home now, immediately, yeah. He stinks, look at him, because he's Like one fly of the cuckoo's nest, let him out now. No, but it was just, I don't know, it was just, it was like, it was just during the Christmas stuff, and it was just so emotional, I don't know, I just lost the plot. Very intense, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow.